This is Phil Masters. On today's episode, we're making Kylo Ren's lightsaber in Photoshop. It's gonna look like this. Now down below in the comments section is a downloaded PSD file which is Kylo Ren ready to go. If you don't have a picture of Kylo Ren or don't want to use that one, go out and take a photo of yourself or dressed up holding a lightsaber hilt and we'll be doing a Photoshop of Kylo Ren's lightsaber on that for you. So if you're into cosplay, it's probably a good tutorial for you. If not, if you just want to learn some skills with Photoshop, then this is the tutorial for you. So let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to get started on this lightsaber let's just go file new and grab the kylo ren psd file open it now i've already uh, taken the liberty of cutting kylo out so you can put whatever background you'd like and move him around in the project window if you'd like so first of all let's go new layer and i'm going to call this saber it's going to type saber in there and make sure it's selected i'm just going to grab the uh brush tool now and right click and make sure it's feathered okay now obviously to resize the brush we just use the open and close brackets on the keyboard but before we do that let's uh, make sure that we've got a pure white color once we've got that select OK and I'm just gonna put one little mark at the very beginning of the hilt holding the shift button down and there we go so we get one continuous straight line. Now control T will allow us to turn and adjust the location of where we want the saber and we'll move it into position. So I'm just using the up, down, left, right arrow keys on the keyboard. Now I'm gonna grab the smudge tool now and I'm just gonna smudge the very end so that we've got a uh, point at the end of our saber. So I'm just gonna zoom in and just show you. So we've got a bit of a point there. So I'll just show you again I'm just gonna smudge it out so we've got that nice curve at the end of the blade okay now let's control J twice so that way we have three copies of the image grab the very first saber layer and let's go to blur Gaussian blur now I can use the slider to adjust the radius if I'd like or you can just uh, key in three. So we're gonna use three, select the next layer. Let's go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur again. And the next radius, we're going to set it at 25. So let's put 25 in there, select okay. Go up to the uh, third layer now. I'm just gonna zoom in and show you what we're doing. You can see we're starting to feather out the layer. So let's select the third layer. Let's do the same thing again. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now for the last blur effect, we're gonna make it 40. So let's just uh, key 40 in there and select OK. Now once we've done that, you'll see a nice blur around the sabers. So what we're gonna do is select and make a new layer. We're gonna drag that below the other three layers. I'm just gonna rename that and call it black layer. Because what we're gonna do is grab the paint bucket tool and make it black. So first of all, we're gonna change it. So I'm gonna use this little switch here to bring up the black preset, making sure it's pure black. Just drag it down the corner, select okay, get the paint bucket tool and select that layer. Now, all you can see is the sabers. So we're gonna select the black layer and all the others. And you can either press control E or go up to layer and merge layers. Now that will bring it all together. So this will assist us in putting a curve on it and apply our red, blue, whatever color we want to change the saber to. Now let's change the uh, screen mode to screen. And now we're going to go and we're going to select image adjustments curves. And we'll bring up the curves box. I'm going to drop it down to red and start to uh, make some adjustments to the curvature. And as you can see, I'm starting to get a red saber appearance on the lightsaber. Now this is exactly the same as After Effects, but we're doing a uh, still image. Once you've done that, select OK. Next thing we're going to do is we're gonna get the smudge tool again, and we're gonna start making Kylo Ren's saber. So it makes it that vibration look. So just getting 
the smudge tool. I'm just gonna zigzag across the blade. I'm gonna zoom in and show you what I'm doing here. So zigzag across and that will give us that kyber crystal cracked lightsaber that uh, everyone is talking about. Once you're happy with that, I'm gonna go layers adjustments and color balance. And I'm gonna use the red and pump the red up a little bit on the midtones, on the highlights. I'm gonna do the same. It might be a little bit too red. It's gonna bring it down a little bit. And also go down and adjust and put a little bit of yellow in there. So we've got more of a fiery blade and select okay. So there we have our Kylo Ren blade. Now we're gonna put some uh, some uh, lightning effects in there and some sparks. So we'll do that now. So next thing we're gonna do is gonna grab the brush tool, select hard edged. I'm gonna change the color to an orangey color, a dark orange. Once I'm happy with that, select okay. And the next thing we're gonna do is just readjust the size of the brush. So it's really small. Again, I'm using the open close brackets on my keyboard to do that as a shortcut. And I'm just gonna draw some fine lines in there. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm pressing the left button on my mouse to make a mark. And I'm going to where I want the end to be, holding it down with the shift key and allows me to draw a straight line. So you can be as creative as you like to put your lightning in there. Put some sparks in there. To give that wild lightsaber look. So what I'm gonna do is just keep on moving around, put a few bit more uh, sparks in there. And again, that's just a few uh, little marks in there. And that's our Kylo Ren lightsaber done. So I'm gonna make the cross guards now. Let's control J to duplicate that layer. And once I've done that, I'll uh, press control T to transform it. And I'm gonna scale it down. So hold shift. And I'm just gonna make some adjustments. So I'm just gonna bring the hilt down to size and I'm gonna put it into position. Like so. So I'm happy with around about that size. So let's put it into position. Just rearrange it and line it up with the cross guard. Okay, so I'm happy with that. So let's press Control J and duplicate that layer. And press Control T so we can start to transform it and rotate it and put it into position on the other side. Like so, hit Enter. Once we're happy with that, that will lock in the aspect. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some trimming of the cross guards. Um, so at the moment, we've got one cross guard overlapping the other. I'm just going to grab the eraser tool now, right click and use the feather. I'm going to select both of those layers. First of all, go layer and merge layers and change the screen mode back to screen. So what we're doing is feathering out the cross guard. So I'm just uh, cleaning it up around the cross guard, as you can see. Zoom in a little bit with the eraser. And once we're happy with that, I'm going to zoom in. And what we're gonna do is grab the brush tool again using the same orange. And we're just going to uh, put some more sparks coming out of the hilt. So again, it's uh, just about painting them on there. So straight lines coming out and then a few little freehand sparks. Now I'm happy with that. That's the uh, saber done. So let's clean it up. Let's select both those saber layers and control E to bring them together. Change the transfer mode back to screen again. And that's it. Our Kylo Ren lightsaber is now done. So we'll have to do is save it out as a JPEG or whatever file you like. So if you want to become a Film Master Subby, it's pretty simple. Just simply subscribe to the channel, like us on Facebook and or on Twitter. And until next time, don't just film it, master it.